I've got a new tool in the studio today that I am excited to share with you. Hey everyone, it's Kathy Zilski. Welcome back to my channel and my studio. Today I'll be sharing the new Intercut die cutting machine from Gina K Designs. The Intercut is an adjustable pressure style of die cut machine. What does this mean for you? Fewer plates and it will do all of the cuts you need simply with a few adjustments. I've also got a new stamp set from Gina and I'm going to share all of this in the video that's coming up next. Here's a look at some of the supplies I'm going to be using for today's card. I've got Snow Much Love, the stamp set from Gina K Designs, and I've pulled out the coordinating dies for the snowflakes that I'm going to use. There are dies to cut out all the greetings, which I love having that as well. So let's start with stamping some snowflakes. Got a piece of Gina K Designs Heavy Base Weight White, and I've already positioned my stamps and picked them up, popped them on my misty door, and I'm gonna add some anti-static powder. Now my paper is held in by a four and three quarter by six inch grip mat from Waffle Flower. All right, let's ink up with our Versamark. And I've already been playing with these stamps a little, so I've already primed them and conditioned them a bit. And now we are going to transfer the ink. I'm gonna use my little Stampin' Bug just to add pressure to the Misty Door. Make sure that I'm getting all of these images transferred. And then I'm gonna stamp it twice because twice is nice. No, I just wanna make sure that I get a good coating. I'm going to be doing a basic emboss resist to color my snowflakes today. I haven't done that in a while. Kind of feeling it. Kind of have the need for speed or something like that. I, I, don't, I don't really know. Don't, don't let me get started on quoting Top Gun. Now, you can always just glance, and when you see it start to catch the light, you can't see it, but I can see that, you know what? Those are all pretty darn good impressions, and so I'll lift this up. I'm gonna grab it right where there's no image. I'm gonna keep these in my Misty. Got my paper catch, and I'm gonna use Gina K Designs Fine Detail White Powder. I'll just sprinkle it all over like that. And this will allow us to see what the magic was. All right, let that sit for a second and, and there you go. Look at how pretty that is. Very lovely, no need to add more powder. We'll funnel this back in. And I'll get my heat tool warmed up and we'll melt the powder. Let's just make sure all areas are shiny. That's how you can tell if you missed anything. Just look for any dull areas. All right, my snowflakes look great. I'm gonna place down a panel-sized grip mat. This is from Waffle Flower Crafts, and I love this for ink blending because it will hold it perfectly flat, right, to your paper. And now you don't have to worry about warping. Of course, you can't see anything yet, but that's okay. That's okay, we're gonna start out with a little bit of Gina K Designs Sea Glass. Grab my brush here. I'm just going to prime it up a bit here on my paper towel roll. I'm gonna load up a little ink. This is pretty juicy. I just recently re-inked three pads and I'm just gonna add color around the panel. And you can see the snowflakes will start to show up. And I'm gonna be blending three colors on here to create pretty backgrounds for my flakes. Love that. All right, I'm going to take my next color and that is going to be light orange. 
Orchid. I like Light Orchid. Very juicy pad. Let me grab my purple. And let's add a little of this. And I'm tapping it off just so that I don't come in super blotchy, but honestly, it doesn't really matter because it's going to be so pretty once it all blends together because look what happens when you overlap with the sea glass. Oh, it's so pretty. Love that. And really, we're just focused on the flakes because this is not a background panel. These are just my flakes. And they're all going to be die cut. I'm getting a workout on the blending arm. All right. So dreamy. Let's move you a bit. Up here. And in between, you can take any cloth that you have. I like this e cloth. These are my favorite. I have a, I think I have like a four pack of them. I just throw them in the wash and cycle them through. But they're nice because there's no fibers on here, and it's a really, really handy cloth to have in your crafty area. All right, this is looking good, looking pretty. Gosh, I don't even know if I need a third color because I've basically created a third color by bringing in just two. I may leave it like this, you know, and come back in with a little more sea glass. Yeah, those are very pretty. Okay, let's do that. I don't, I'm not gonna use the third color I'm just gonna come in a little more with sea glass to bring out any other areas on the snowflakes that could use a bump. When you use colors that follow each other on the color wheel, you get that transitional color in between them and purples go really nicely into blues. I think those are pretty. So now, I think, I had a little extra powder there that I didn't notice, but once we die cut it, I think it's going to be just fine. All right. Snowflakes looking pretty. The backgrounds are gorgeous. Let's get the dies so we can cut them out. I've got my dies taped into place, and now I'm going to die cut them. I am really excited to have a brand new die cut machine in my studio today. It is the Gina K Designs Intracut. Let me show you the machine. Gina has just released a adjustable pressure machine. I have never used one of these types of machines. And the reason it's exciting is because you only need two plates. And what you do is you adjust via the pressure controls as needed. There are settings here and it says 3D emboss, letterpress emboss, and die cut. So what you do is you change based on what you need. And then there's an adjustment here, right here, the press and twist in order to change how much pressure is added. And what else is cool? Let me show you this. <laughs> when you open it, it suctions to your surface if you have a surface like I do, which is a, a glass mat. And I kind of like that because my other manual die cut machines always slide. Now, I don't have a lot of wrist strength, so that is another thing. This goes through very nicely. So again, I've never tried the pressure adjustment machine and this, I have been playing with it. It comes with a platform and it comes with a cutting mat. This is what you cut into every time. You do not cut into this. And again, I'll be sure to link Gina's uh, main channel where she introduces the machine so that you can watch the expert. But what we're gonna do we're going to cut blade side up, right? So this comes here. I'm going to switch either side of the cutting mat and I'm going to, I'm going to run it through. Now here's what's great as I'm running it through, it can do it one handed and this does not hurt my wrists. Also, there's no super big badum. It just, it just goes through. Now for me, that's very exciting. But again, I like the idea of only having one plate to worry about. So let's take a look at our flakes and they cut beautifully. Look at that. Aren't these pretty? 
kind of awkward how I'm showing you these, but the cuts are great. And this is heavy base weight cardstock. So if you had a cardstock that was thicker, you could adjust the little tension wheel on the back. If you, you know, needed to go up all the way because it was something super thick, you have the ability to do that just two plates. So the other thing that I think is very cool is you don't need anything else other than that adjustment. So I'm going to do a little bit of embossing on another panel of cardstock for this project. So let me grab that embossing folder and show you how that works. When you get the machine, you will get a little guide in the back here and it gives you how you need to set up. So for me, I am going to be doing this embossing folder, the Gina K Design Snowflakes. So you will set it to the 2D emboss and your sandwich is basically the same. Base plate, that, and the cutting mat on top. So I'm gonna come over here. The only thing I think that's gonna be something you have to get in the habit of doing if you're in the market for this type of machine, turn it to your proper setting, open it up, it will stick down. Also, you can open this up and store. Your handle comes off, it can be in there, or you could keep you know, your sticky tapes or your low tack tapes in here for die cutting. But what I'm gonna do is put my platform on. I have trimmed a panel to be three and three quarters by five inches. It doesn't really matter which side I put it on because we're just gonna emboss these snowflakes right into this paper, okay? I'll flip my cutting mat over and again, I'll just run it through. And I can feel that pressure, but it's pretty easy to run. It's not hard on the wrists at all. The handle is very soft and nice to hold on to. <laughs> and now you can see my beautiful embossed panel with my folder. Isn't that pretty? I'm going to use this on my card. So I'll put this away for now and bring it back out because I have to figure out the general design and then what is my greeting going to be. I think for my greeting, I'm probably going to have an arrangement, something like that. I'll have some definite uh, dimension going on here. Maybe I want to do Miss You Snow Much because I, 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 or I have so much love for you. I do have, I do have a bit of a, a soft spot for the puns and either would look good. So you know what? When in doubt, stamp them both and then you decide, hey, I like this one best. So again, I've got a piece of lovely lavender cardstock because I think that is going to be so pretty for the greeting. We'll pick this up and make sure that's in. I am going to prime these stamps a little because I have not stamped with any of the greetings. Grab my anti-static powder again. Powder these up. And my Versamark pad. And we'll ink these up. Okay. And press. I'm going to stamp these a few times because they are a little delicate on the top and bottom. And I don't want to get too much pressure on here. So just holding my hand down until I can see it nicely, kind of layer up that ink. Pressing more on the larger type. Oh yeah, that's looking good, a little more. And I'll just do a little right in there. All right, let's add our powder. Let that sit, slide off, and that will really pop once it melts. I always do a second coating just to see maybe if I you know, tapped too much off, but you definitely want to tap some of that excess off. That looks pretty good. All right, we'll melt that powder. Two greetings, both look fabulous. I will grab the coordinating dies to cut them out. So now I'll bring my machine in, but because I am doing a die cut, I need to go right there to the die cut setting. That's the only thing you have to remember to do. 
I have been playing with this machine and forgot to do that a couple times. I'm like, where's the pressure? Oh yeah, adjustable pressure. So we take our platform, we take our dies that are taped into place and flip it blade side up, cutting into the paper still. And then again, you can flip your platform or flip this cutting mat every time. Just run it through. And again, I don't have to hold it. I can just do it one-handed, which is pretty cool. All right. And now we have two greetings to choose from. I have, I have so much love for you, or I miss you so much. I don't know which one I'll do, but I think I'm gonna cut, maybe I'll cut an extra layer for both of those. I've got a piece of lovely lilac in 11 inches by four and a quarter, and I'm going to score this right at five and a half. Get that nice little score line in there. And that's going to be my note card. And give this a press with my Teflon bone folder. So that is kind of the arrangement I want. And I actually think I'm going to go with, I have snow much love for you. But now I think what I'm going to do, I wish that I, uh, that I could, well, I could take a picture because I like the way this looks, but I want to put foam tape on the back of this first and then mount it on top of the panel and then build the card. And you know what, if I, this little, little trick, I could just go like that, just pop this like that. And that way I know that's how I want it to look. There we go. I feel really smart right now. Okay, I'm gonna take my foam tape. This is the Altenew foam tape. I'm just gonna cut some here to size to put on the back. There. And, okay. Take the backers off. And we'll pop this down onto the note card like that. And again, I just love that tone on tone texture of the embossing. So now we'll come back over here and I am going to take off my tape because here's what I think I'm going to do. I guess I didn't really need the tape. I could just, I want to get foam squares on here and some are going to be glued directly down. So again, this is going to be just like a little, like a little puzzle piece. Let me get some foam squares. Just want to show this in a few videos because I organized all of my foam squares and this makes me very happy because now I have easily sorted uh, large ones or wait, thin ones, thicker ones. And where are these guys coming from? Yep, right here. And so I have them in this little seasoning packet type organizer from Linus and uh, it's changed my world. It's a little dramatic, but you know what I mean. All right, let's start with placing down this one first. Now this snowflake is gonna go right onto the card. Just get enough here in the center. Let me zoom in here a little. And I'll just press that down gonna hold that for a second just to give the glue time to adhere to the embossed texture. In fact, I'll just put my glass brick on here and now here I'm going to let me get my little pick and stick tool. I'm gonna to take a foam square. I think I'm just gonna do it in the center. I don't think I am going to need to be uh, much further out, but what I wanted to do was have that little that little difference in height. Same thing here. I'm gonna put this friend right onto the note card, the panel, I guess. Tweezers here and just get that right about in there, right? Kind of point it up a little into that one. All right, and press. Just put the brick on. Okay. And then these will also have a little dimension, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing the thin or thick foam square. That I haven't decided yet. So I think what I need to do is put the first one down, 
So let's take the backer off here and figure out where it goes. See how pretty that is though with the pattern? I mean, it's a random, you know, they don't all line up perfectly, but they, with the colors, the way the color blends are. In fact, I think I'm going to do it more like that because I kind of like that. And I'm going to hang my little guy off the edge of the card panel a little bit like that. As long as it will still fit in the card, it's going to be great. And then up here, oh yeah, you know what? Thin foam squares for that one. So it will have a little bit of a different dimension. I like mixing up the dimensions. I think it's kind of fun. So if you have thick or thin foam squares, play with them a little, have some fun. Put a few drops of liquid glue here just so I can play with it a little, wiggle it a little into place. I want this to be in right about there. That's good. All righty, get you in here. Like, I want it to be right about like that. Okay, so there's my cluster. It's very cute. And let me take this and say, what about, maybe I do want the smaller one. I miss you so much. You know what? I think I do. Initially, I thought I was going to do the bigger one, but I think for this, and now you can see this one will stand up so nicely over the top. Um, again, I could, I could nestle it probably right there. I like that. All right, let's do it. Let's get it on. And then we'll add a, we'll add a, whoops, <laughs> we'll add a little shine. And right in there like it was meant to be. And that gives you different layers of dimension. Isn't that fun? You've got tone on tone texture. You've got color. You've got, oh, I love it. Different heights here. All right, let me find some sequins and we will finish out the card. I'm going to use Gina K's Dazzling Diamonds because I think they're really pretty and there's already dimension on this card. So we will take five, starting with the smallest one up here. Boop, all right. Put one right on the snowflake that's glued right to the panel. Boop. One out here, the outlier, get out there in the white space. And then another medium size one. So I always like to alternate the sizes. So small, small, medium, medium, and large. Yeah, it's just a thing. It's a thing I like to do. Boop. Like that. Oh, I think something was on my... We'll see once that's dry. But that is my finished card project. Oh, I, I love it. I love these colors for winter snowflake cards. I love the extra texture. Let me zoom in here a little that you get with that background of embossing. It just adds another layer, right? And look how pretty that is. Oh, so fun. There's one thing I want to show you about this die cut machine, the Intercut, and that is this. If you're going to get the Intercut die cut machine, if you're in the market for a pressure adjustable system, you are going to get a die set that comes with the actual machine. This is a $26.95 value. You've got a happy birthday, friend. You've got florals that have shadow layers, leaves, greenery, more greenery, this little circle here that can be the center of flowers, and then this big, beautiful, geometric heart. This this magnet doesn't come with it. That's just something that I put it on for display. But that die set comes with the intercut. So kind of cool to have that extra little part that comes inside the box. Anyway, that's the finished card. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to check out my blog post for photos and more information. You can find links to all of the products I used in today's video in the YouTube description box. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, I would love to have you. So hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell as well so that you don't miss the next time I post. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day. To see more card projects featuring products from Gina K Designs, check out the thumbnails I have linked for you below and I'll see you in those videos.